Paris is an expensive destination. The cost of a vacation there is insane. And if anyone knows it, we do. We are Chris and Michael, and in our last video, we broke down in detail how much we spent on our six-week slow travel trip to Paris, and it didn't come cheap. We spent $10,000 on this trip. But we learned so much on this journey about what to watch out for and how much to budget. We are going to share our top 15 tips here with you. So get out your pen and paper or look for our new itinerary guide in the description. Number 1. Set your budget ahead of time. Paris is not a cheap place to visit and planning will likely require some sacrifice. You need some planning to know what to keep in your itinerary and what to cut. Don't play it by ear. Instead, know ahead of time what you are willing to spend and then set your itinerary accordingly to stay within your allotted budget. The goal here is to prevent costs from ballooning out of control. Number 2. Fly in the shoulder or off season. Peak season usually means higher prices. It's almost always cheaper to go during off or shoulder seasons. The side benefit is that there are fewer tourists and shorter lines. Also, flying during the week rather than weekends is often cheaper. Finally, search for deals on aggregate sites and then book direct. Number 3. Pick the right place to stay for your budget and comfort. When traveling on a strict budget, a hostel is an option, although it's not for everyone. For short-term stays, there are hotels at every price point. You may have to stay further from the center in the lower range, but you can use public transportation to get to the main sites. For longer stays, Airbnbs are a must. But be aware, it will be tricky to find an Airbnb with everything that you need. For example, it might be unlikely to have air conditioning or an elevator. Number 4. Go to free museums and pre-book your tickets. There are several free museums that are terrific and you should see them whether on a budget or not. For the paid museums, select which are the absolute must for you and buy the tickets ahead of time direct through the museum websites and not through a third party. Number 5. Go Green Bathing Paris gardens are beautiful to wander through and they are absolutely free of charge. Some are must-sees like the Tuileries Gardens while others are hidden gems. We provide some great suggestions in our sightseeing guide and have a video on the best secret gardens. Number 6. Walk and enjoy the scenery. We mostly walked through Paris and it gave us a greater understanding and appreciation for the city. Taxis and Ubers are expensive and slow. Other than walking, taking the metro is your next best option and it's easier than it looks. Number 7. Get the museum audio guides. An experience at a museum is so much richer when it is guided and you have insight into what you are looking at. But you don't have to pay for pricey tours. Instead, opt for the cheaper audio guides. They are generally in multiple languages and give great information. Number 8. Consider a museum pass. Paris is known for its museums and there are many to choose from. There are museum passes available that allow entry to several at a set price. But be warned, you would have to see a large number of museums in a short time to really maximize the value. Number 9. Have a picnic lunch. We often packed a picnic and ate in a park or along a canal. It's a beautiful way to spend some time enjoying the Paris atmosphere. Just pick up a low-cost baguette and some cheese and wine at the local shops. Number 10. Eat like a Parisian. Enjoy a simple breakfast in your hotel room or Airbnb like a baguette, French butter and some jam. A baguette in your local boulangerie will cost no more than just over a euro for their specialty baguette. It will fuel you for the morning, but it won't break the bank. 
Number 11. Eat off the beaten path. Don't eat on touristy streets like the Champs de Liaison unless you have a specific recommendation. Head off onto side streets instead. We discovered many smaller restaurants with wonderful and less expensive food this way. Number 12. It's okay to go lighter on the tip. Americans and Canadians are used to tipping generously, but in France, a service charge is already included in the price. French citizens will generally leave no tip or will give a bit of change if the service is great. Number 13. Ask for the set menu. You can order individually off the menu, a la carte, or opt for a formula, which will save you a few euros by including an appetizer with the main course and perhaps a dessert or glass of wine. Number 14. Pay special attention to where you buy groceries. Discount grocery stores like Lidl and Aldi are great options for saving a little extra at the checkout. They are spread throughout Paris. While they may not always have everything you need, they are heavily discounted. Number 15. Go light on the alcohol. As the expression goes, if you want to save money dining in Paris, then don't drink your budget. We found a bottle of wine to generally be cheaper than in America, but it still significantly increased the cost. But wine is cheaper than soda though, so opt for a glass of wine or water instead. Happy travels! Watch this video to see what's next on our adventures and check out our customizable merchandise store. See you soon!